Meteorologists from the National Weather Service fanned out across the city today to determine exactly what did hit New Orleans early this morning. They spent the day surveying the storm damage and Paul Murphy caught up with them in the Carrollton neighborhood. The National Weather Service set out to quickly determine if the storm that caused a wide swath of damage across New Orleans was a tornado or straight line winds. I will take some pictures. I will look at what I see. I will look at some of the construction, look at the tree damage, and then I'll follow the damage across the city to the east. People who live near Pine and Spruce Streets in the Carrollton neighborhood say the overnight storm that woke them up was not your average line of thunder showers. It was louder than any other storm I've ever heard. So at one point last night, I was like, that might be a tornado, something like this. It's just a little louder than I was expecting. I woke up around 1.30 because of the lightning strikes and thunder. And then it was a very concentrated, about two minute time period where it did sound like a tornado could have touched down. NWS meteorologist Lauren Nash and her team surveyed the damage across the city. Officials said about three dozen homes received minor to moderate damage. The storm was also strong enough to blow covers off some barges docked near Bollinger shipyards in Algiers. The wind pattern, extent of downed trees and power lines, and twisted metal on the ground added up to an EF0 tornado. It had maximum winds of 85 miles per hour and tracked about five miles through the city. This tornado touched down around 2.05 a.m., somewhere between Claiborne Avenue and Carrollton Avenue in the uptown area. It tracked east, producing mostly tree damage before arriving near the Amtrak terminal and peeling back a 10 roof on one of their large buildings. From there, the storm moved southeast, causing damage in the CBD. Eventually, it crossed the Mississippi River and hit Algiers. According to the National Weather Service, the storm spun up pretty quickly and it may have formed before they had a chance to put out a tornado warning. In really, really short, quick tornadoes, they can spin up in 30 seconds to a minute to a two minutes um, and make it very difficult to catch on radar. The Weather Service says the fact the tornado hit in the early morning hours when most people were in their homes and not on the street may be why there were no injuries during the storm. Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. This was the 10th tornado to touch down in New Orleans over the past 20 years.